Then we have our inline camping system. The nice thing about this, for what it actually does, it's a very, very compact unit and easy to travel around with. The downside compared to some of the larger systems is it hasn't got a built-in pump, so you need to have a, a tap um, somewhere to connect it to, it, Jack, or at least some sort of a pressurized source to hook it up to in line. What we have here is we've got a sediment filter, then we're going through carbon and KDF, which um, basically removes chlorine and some heavy metals and prevents bacteria from growing to the system and then organic smells and then it goes through an ultra filtration membrane which is your barrier for bacteria and then we've got it through a color changing mix bed resin which actually removes mineral content from the water so here we're sitting at about 130 parts per million we just want to demonstrate how quickly the flow can actually be through a system like this if you've got pressure so you very quickly fill a tap fill a glass and um, if you fill at a, at a quick rate, this is coming down to 16 parts per million. So it's less than 20% of the mineral content of the incoming water. So that'll make a massive difference in taste to the water. Then if you want to even lower mineral content, you can actually just run it at a, at a slower rate so that the water is actually running through the filter at a, at a slower pace that gives the mixed bed resin a longer chance to actually absorb minerals out of the water, then you find, you'll find it uh, should be reduced a bit. Like here we have a little bit of a, a white to the water that's just air bubbles. That's from the ultrafiltration membrane, which filters very fine. So let's see it. it. It'll clear up in a second. It clears up from the bottom going up. But here, running at that pace, we got it all the way down to two parts per million. So that's basically almost no minerals left in the water. So it's very effective unit for a small portable thing. The downside um, with the mixed bed resin is it's a consumable thing that's removing the mineral content. So depending on the water you're using, the higher the minerals, the amount of minerals you need to remove, the shorter the mixed bed resin will last. So it's a very great thing for sort of short trips, but if you're planning to like Boulder Overlander, where you're going on month long trips, we'd rather recommend going to one of the larger systems like a, a portable reverse osmosis system. But for just typical breakaways in that, it's an excellent little little system, especially if you're going to campsites where you can just hook it up to a water point. This is how the inline portable system comes. Basically, very tiny little, little package to take with. And then I've got two pieces of pipe for in and out and you've got some fittings to actually connect um, your water supply to and then operation is super simple you've literally got a in connection with a valve and an out connection with a valve the valves are there so that you can seal the water inside for transport if you're moving the system around um, and then basically the filters you've got here is first you go through a sediment filter to catch large dirt. Then you go through advanced combined filter, which basically first has a KDF cartridge, which is carbon and KDF to remove chlorine, uh, catch organic molecules, things that will give you funny smells and taste of the water. And then the KDF will also remove some heavy metals. Then you go through an ultrafiltration membrane, which is a physical barrier that stops bacteria. Then after you've gotten rid of the bacteria, we go through a color-changing mixed bed resin cartridge. Now, basically what this does is this is something to absorb mineral content from the water. So if you add a slightly brackish water or something like that, then the mixed bed resin will reduce that mineral content for you. The operation is literally, if you unpack the unit, hook a, a tap through one of these connectors and a pipe up to the unit, and take the other end either to fill a container or to wherever you want to use the water and simply open these two valves. The way um, you see if the filters are not due for replacement is on these two, your flow will start to go down. So if you find you're not getting as much water through the system, it's probably that your sediment filter or the ultrafiltration membrane is blocked up. The resin cartridge will actually change color. It starts out sort of mostly blue um, some of them are always um, already uh, sort of a yellowish color by the time you get it. And as the cartridge gets depleted, 
um, you'll see it'll change more and more and more to a yellowish color and less and less um, left that's a blue blue color. Uh, basically, the amount of water that the unit will filter will completely depend on the actual source water you're using for the system. If you're using a very high mineral content water, you're going to deplete the resin very quickly. If you're using a very dirty water, you're going to very quickly block up the sediment filter and the ultrafiltration membrane. If you're using a water with high chlorine, you're going to quickly deplete the KDF and carbon cartridge. So depending on what type of water you're using, you might find that you deplete some of the filters quicker than others. The easiest thing with this unit is simply to replace all of them when you're doing maintenance, but all of the filters are available individually if you find that you've only depleted one specific element of the unit.